Welcome to beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida, the spring training home of the New York Mets and the future Buffalo Bisons. Exclusively on Time Warner Cable Sportsnet, over the next 30 minutes, you'll get a preview of what it's like to be at spring training both as a fan and as a player. Speaking of 2010, we'll check in with the players and the coaches that are ready to break camp and head north to Buffalo and begin a fun season ahead. All that and more over the next 30 minutes, but first we check in with the former leader of the herd, Terry Collins is the brand new field coordinator for the New York Mets, and he's leading the 2010 Bisons from the front office in New York City, and of course manager Ken Oberfell will be directing the herd coming up this season. So let's check in with both coming up in the program as we go back to the backfields here in Port St. Lucie. All right, the backfields where most of the fun happens here in minor league camp, and the guy that's overseeing it, Terry Collins, no stranger to the faces in Buffalo as well. You've been down here a couple of weeks. You've got to know a lot of the players. How have things gone so far? Well, they've gone great. We've had a, we've got a lot of work in. The uh, staff is, I mean, hours and hours they put in early in the morning to late in the evening getting these clubs ready to go. And uh, with the major league making some cuts, uh, everybody's coming into shape. You're heading into the home stretch of spring training. What are some of the final things that you're working to address right now? Well, obviously, spring training, the length of spring training is all about making sure our pitchers get lengthened out so that they can start the year where they can go five and six innings. So that's still going to be the key and making sure some guys are getting at bats, you know, and we've got a couple guys who have gone through a few minor injuries in spring training early, so they've lost some at bats early in camp, and we've got to make those up now. Over the last couple of weeks since we spoke with you on radio and television as well, Terry, uh, the Bisons roster looks like it's taking more of a shape. How do you feel about where the, t the team is headed into Buffalo right now? Well, I think they're going to have a nice club. Um, we've got some experienced pitching going in there. Guys that uh, you know can, can, can throw throw strikes, control the fastball, uh, change speeds. Your infield, I think, is going to be really good. You're going to have some guys who can catch the baseball, which is going to make your pitching staff better. And with the addition of Hessman and Servanac, and uh, you've got some power. You know, you're, you're going to be able to hit the ball in the ballpark. So hopefully, it's a good combination. Terry Collins talking with us about Bison baseball, and of course, here down in Port St. Lucie with the Mets. This camp overall seems to have a, a lighter feel to it as well. Is that something you were looking to try to do with the players this year? Well, I can only tell you the way I've done it in the past. You know, when I we, it, this is about having fun. Spring training's hard. It can be the days can be long, and so you got to enjoy it while you're out here. And so it, it's, the idea is to have some fun while you're out here. That makes the day go faster and makes you want to come back tomorrow. And so we've tried to lighten the load a little bit, lighten the atmosphere around it, and uh, have, let them have some fun. I know you've been able to bring in some of the veteran guys that have had great success with the New York Mets as well. What kind of influence can they have if it's the pitching, like Ron Darling, or if Keith Hernandez comes over and works with some of the, your younger guys? Why is that important? Well, these guys still have to know what it's, what it's going to take to play in the major leagues. And when, So when John Franco came over and talked, he talked about what he thought were the keys that helped him get to the big leagues. And Ron Darling, the same thing. You know, I'm going to bring Sandy Koufax in in a few days to talk to the pitchers about you know, what it takes to be successful. They have to understand that... You know, it's not just going out and pitching. There's a mental side to the game that they've got to understand. And we, so we want to bring in guys who've had success, who've had that, that mental edge. All right. You've also got Jack Voigt, Ricky Bonus, and Ken Oberkfell leading the club here. Guys with uh, some, some serious experience, not only in the minor league level, but at the big league level as well. So, I mean, you're trying to infuse that attitude of winning and success. Absolutely. You know, development and winning go hand in hand to me. You know, we're, especially in Buffalo, you're, you know, they've got to be prepared to win in New York. And that's a big task. That's a big task to ask. And, you know, my experiences in Buffalo, there's no better place. You know, when I was there, you know, we had great crowds. We, we uh, The media was like, like attending a major league going to a major league game so it was great to the player for the players to develop and we want to do that again throughout through the staff they know what it takes to play there they know what it's what, what it's going to take mentally and plus physically they know what the the drain is on you know on, on the physical side and, and in buffalo there's no better place because they're treated like, like major leaguers there awesome well you treat us like big leaguers when we're down here too terry thanks so much my pleasure thanks for having me on down the home stretch with manager Ken Oberkfell as your team begins to develop. You have to be pretty happy with the players that you've got out on the field right now. Well, I am. I am, Ben. Uh, you know, these guys have been working hard all spring. Uh, and we got some guys sent down from the major leagues uh, that's going to be with us. It's going to help us. we got some good good mixture. we got some good young talent, and we got some good veterans this year. But uh, the one thing that I've been really happy is, is the way we've been swinging the bat, something that we didn't do a whole lot of last year. But uh, these guys have been swinging. And uh, it's fun to see. You see that leadership at the plate, and maybe more so the discipline at the plate right now, setting the tone with the older guys, the Mike Servanax, Mike Hesman is also in camp. 
Do you need that tone set from those guys? Well, we, we definitely need their leadership. I mean, you know, we've got some good young prospects we're going to have in Ike Davis, Josh Tolley, and uh, probably a few more that might get sent down. But uh, you need that veteran leadership. And these guys, I think what they're going to bring to the table more than anything is – is they can play, and they can play at this level. They know the league. They know a lot of the pitchers that will probably be back in this league. So I think they, they can really help with the younger players. And uh, and, I, and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, this is actually, to be honest, I'm, I'm ready to get get out of spring training and get, get the season going. It's nice to play games that count finally, right? It really is. And, you know, we've been playing pretty well down here, you know, and you know hopefully we get a little momentum, carry that into the season. But uh, right now, the, the thing that pleases me is the way the guys have been going about their work. At work, they're, they're working hard. They're 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 aggressive. They're having fun, but they're getting their work done. And sometimes you get down that last week or so of spring training, you start seeing guys drag a little bit, just letting up. But these guys aren't letting up. They're just going harder. One guy that had a really tough go of it last year was Nick Evans, and because Nick is who he is, there will be an extra focus on him heading into this year. What's different about Nick right now? I think he's going to be fine. Uh, you know, I think you know he knows what to expect now. Uh, I think, you know, I think last year he kind of changed his, you know, his stance a little bit at the plate, and uh, you know he he was actually on the bubble of making that major league club, and you know you get sent down almost the last day of spring training. You're going to have a little letdown, and I think that's what happened when he came into the season with that on his mind, and. And just never got off to a good start. The team was losing, and everything just snowballed for him. But uh, you know, people got to remember when he came back after leaving the team, going to a ball, working on things. He come back and was a pretty darn good player before he got called back to the major leagues. So I think this year, having him get sent out of camp early and out of major league camp, I think he's got his mindset now. He he's ready to get some at bats here and, and go into the season. And I think I, I'm looking for good things from Nick. You think that helps the guys this year as well? Josh Tolley and Ike Davis, who had tremendous springs to get down here and get their feet wet with the team that they're going to break camp with. No question, it does. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you know, I know you got to keep players at the major league level to, you know, make sure you're covered in spring training. But you know, it's these guys. You know, I, I think they're they're happy to be down here now and and getting an opportunity to start playing on a daily basis down here, which they will get some at bats and get themselves ready for for the upcoming season. So uh, it definitely helps to have your team together with a week to 10 days to go so you can start feeling like each other out and know what to expect from each, you know, not as a manager. I mean, I know what they can do, but as, as players, they know what each other can do, and that, that kind of helps. Can't wait to get rocking in Buffalo with Yobi. I'm ready to go.